All right. All right. So I still game with a i9 9900K in 2022. The year is 2022. And I'm still gaming with an, I guess that's a seven year CPU. Is it? Let's, let's take a look. Is that a seven year CPU? 2018. October of 2018. All right, so I still pretty much game with a i9 9999. I still game with an i9 9900K today, okay? I'm still gaming with it. Now, that is probably my favorite CPU to ever game with today. Just because like, that's my only CPU I'm using the game right now. Yeah, I do have a Ryzen 9 5950X, but I use that for my portable PC build. Um, yeah, I'm a little bougie. Now, I've been using the i9-9900K for pretty much a while now, as you can see. Since October 2018, I've been gaming with that. Not to mention, it was the first high-end CPU that I ever bought. The question is, is it good for gaming? Like, is it good for Warzone? Is, is it good for Apex? Is it good for all these other games today? And I'm here to tell you, yeah, it is, of course. Um, not to mention, the case... The case is still pretty fire. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie i mean the case is like who makes a case like this like look at this look at this case bro this is like a thousand dollar case let's be real one big point as to why i actually bought an i9 9900k is because of the case like bro you can get a cpu in this case together come on no brainer right now i'm running on my gaming pc i'm running an i9 9900k and i'm running a 2070 super and also i'm running 64 gigabytes of ram at i believe 2666 megahertz uh, obviously i should probably update my ram if i'm running on a pretty good pc like this i also do have a 3090 ti that i will be <laughs> putting that in for this gaming pc not today for this video but definitely on another video i kind of want to compare the two the 2070 super and the 3090 ti to see how they deal with the 9900k now the 9900k clocks at 5.2 gigahertz boost speed i believe now for the i9 9900k the clock speed base speed is 3.6 gigahertz when you boost this thing it's going up to 5.0 gigahertz depending on how well your motherboard can handle it pretty much now uh, 5.0 gigahertz is actually fast as fuck okay let's be real like it's probably one of the fastest cpus back in its day in 2018 let's be real this was one of the best cpus to have okay um amd was still killing it of course but you know when it comes to intel there's something about intel that just stands out compared to amd that one thing very specifically is the case now this eight core 16 thread cpu it really does its job man the reason as to why i'm still using this in 2022 let's be honest and that being said that's it for this video Let's get it, YouTube 2021.